I'm here today with Claire at this beautiful spot at Snug Falls and today we're going to be talking about the Tasmanian raptors, so those birds of prey that are found here. When we talk about raptors, we mean a bird with particular features. They're not all related to each other, but they've got very big eyes, haven't they? Yeah. Great big beak. Very visual. Um, but I guess the most important thing is that they, what, catch animals? Catch animals with their talons. So they're yeah. all catching prey with their very strong feet. Their beaks are quite scary, but their talons are the really scary part. So there's lots of species of raptor worldwide and it can be really confusing, um, but we're particularly interested in this project in the Tasmanian species of raptors and those diurnal species, so the birds that hunt during the day. And we're going to see if we can list them all. We'll take it in turns. So I'm going to start with the wedge-tailed eagle. And the sea eagle. The swamp harrier. Uh, the brown goshawk. The collared sparrowhawk. Uh, the white or the grey goshawk, it's white here in Tassie. Uh, brown falcon? Ah, oh, the peregrine falcon. Hobby. Uh, and the nankeen kestrel, which you sometimes see up in the north. Have we got them all? I don't know, what is that all forgotten? of them? What have we forgotten? <laughs> okay, now we can cut there and then we can see if we've <laughs> lost one. <laughs> So we just had a check and we actually managed to get all 10 species first time. <laughs> so although this project's called Where Where Wedgie and our main focus is wedge-tailed eagles, we're actually really interested in some of these other birds and we'd really like to get information on them if we can. First of all, we'll cover the falcons. So we've got four species of falcon to talk about. First of all, the brown falcons are probably the most common falcon you're going to see. Yes, I see them a lot on, on poles, like electricity poles, they're, they're sitting on the top. Yeah, but yeah. how can I be absolutely sure that's a brown falcon? Well, even though they're called brown falcons, they're mostly brown, but there's a lot of variation in their colouring. So it can be a little bit confusing. Mm. They can be quite pale sometimes. Uh, but their most distinguishing feature in general is a, a teardrop that just comes down by their eye. So that's Falco Berigora. Secondly, we've got the Australian hobby. Oh, you'd be lucky to see them, wouldn't you? Well, you do see them quite often. Well, not often, but occasionally on posts, a bit similar to your uh, brown falcon. Um, they're a much smaller bird. They have like a, a dark hood on with a white line that goes behind their ears. Falco longi penis, <laughs> that's long primary feathers. The penna is feather. So there's another species that's really quite similar to the hobby, isn't it? Another falcon. Yes, so the peregrine falcon, which is a bigger bird, really powerful. It's quite distinguishing because it's got bright yellow feet and a yellow, this patch of skin in front, oh, just behind their beak called the seer. That's bright yellow as well. And there's another falcon, isn't there? Didn't you see that a lot last year? On Cape Barren, yes. Yeah, the Nankeen kestrel, which is one we were a bit less likely to see. Um, but you might see it and it's a small little falcon um, just about the same size as the hobby um, but what it does a lot is hover which is beautiful it just stays still in the sky just looking down at the ground just fluttering its wings so the nankeen kestrel that's falco centroides so that's the falcons now what's the difference between falcons and hawks Falcons are very streamlined, agile predators, very aerial, so their wings are very pointy. And then the hawks in general have got much more rounded wings and they're much broader. So they can, they're similarly sized and they can still very effective hunters, um, but they're adapted in a different way. Mm. We'll start with the really pretty one. Oh, my favorite. The gray goshawk. Which is actually white here in Tasmania, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Do you get any gray ones at all? I don't believe so. I mm. think they're all white, mm. yeah. Which is the only all white raptor. It's the only one. All goshawks are accipiters, and this one is Accipiter novae hollandiae. So closely related to the grey goshawk is the brown goshawk. Yes, which is very similar to the grey goshawk, except brown, unsurprisingly. Same sort of size, same kind of shape. Um, but I find the, uh, the difference between the juvenile and the adult really quite confusing. They look like two different birds to me. Yes, yeah. So the adult, both male and female, have got this orangey bar across the front and then a greyish back. Whereas the juvenile has got speckles on the front and it's kind of all brown. Um, so yeah, they look really different. And of course, these occipiters, they're, the male and the female are really different um, sizes as yeah. well, aren't they? Yeah, so the males are much smaller than the females in the, the hawks. So that's occipiter fasciatus. So the next bird, and this is where things are the most confusing in terms of identifying raptors, is the collared sparrowhawk, which basically looks like a miniature brown goshawk. 
So that one is Accipiter cirrocephalus. So we're going to get bigger now and to a bird that is really quite commonly confused with wedges if we're not careful, mm. the swamp harrier. Yes. Uh, if if you're, you're doing a survey called where, where, wedgie, you really want to see an eagle, but you've got to be careful that it's not actually a swampy. Yes, so they are a bit smaller than a wedge-tailed eagle, but when you're looking at a, a bird far away, it's difficult to tell how big it is. But one of the most distinguishing features of the swamp harrier is its white bums, the base of its tail feathers. There's an obvious white spot that stands out. It's white rump. Right rump on. is the correct, not bum, but you know. Um, and then also the shape of the tail. So a wedge-tailed eagle has a diamond-shaped tail, whereas uh, the swamp harrier has quite a severe round edge to it. And that is called Circus approximans. Now even bigger, we have the white-bellied sea eagle. Oh, beautiful bird. But the most distinguishing feature is, of course, that they're big and white, predominantly white. But... but <laughs> the young birds have a lot of brown on their front. They which, can look really, to yeah. the unexperienced, they can look a lot like a wedge-tailed eagle. They can be quite brown and they have a bit of a point to their tail. Yeah, so it's just kind of getting that extra close look at it. Um, the tail isn't as long as a wedge-tailed eagle tail. And if you have a good look at a perched bird, you of course have the wedge-tailed eagles wear feathery trousers and the seagulls have their shorts on. And that one is Haliaetus leucogaster, which means white belly, leucogaster. So that's all of the raptors in Tasmania apart from one. We've got the one left, the wedge-tailed eagle. And because he's so important and he's the focus of the project, he gets a whole video all to himself, which will be the next video. Or herself. Or herself. <laughs>